Hey y'all, for me, Mardi Gras is not complete without some hot and fresh beignets. I cannot go to New Orleans without going to Cafe Du Monde, grabbing a brown sack full of these with some chicory coffee. I am gonna show y'all how to make the famous New Orleans style beignets at home. Very first step is to bloom our yeast. So I have some water between 100 and 110 degrees. Some people would say 105 and 115. I'm currently at 105, which is pretty much perfect if you ask me. One packet of active dry yeast in to the water. Add it to our mixer bowl. And into our bowl, we're going to add in sugar and let that sit for about five minutes until it is foamy. I'm going to add in two eggs that I have lightly beaten, a cup of evaporated milk, and a teaspoon of salt. Give that another whiskeroo. I have a cup of hot water in this measuring cup and some shortening, four tablespoons, a quarter cup. And I'm going to stir it up until the shortening Milks. Now this might take a little bit of patience, but just stick with it and eventually you will have melted shortening in water. So we're going to add that into our mixer bowl where all that other stuff has been hanging out with four cups of bread flour and take the hook attachment and turn on the mixer. With the mixer running, I'm going to gradually add three more cups of bread flour. We're using bread flour because it has a higher gluten content and will create sturdier beignets, which you would think would be counterintuitive because beignets are like soft and pillowy, but I promise in this recipe it works. So once it is fully incorporated, we're gonna transfer it to a greased bowl. I'm going to cover it, put it in the fridge for four hours. It has been four hours. You could also do this the day before, so up to 24 hours in advance. Look how full this bowl is. Wow. And I am going to lightly flour my surface, turn my big ball of dough out onto my lightly floured surface, roll it out, and then I'm gonna take a pizza cutter, cut these into pillow-like shapes, fry up my beignets at 350 degrees. I have some oil heating up in a Dutch oven. Whatever oil you have on hand works fine for these because these are only gonna be in there for about two minutes each till they're crispy, pillowy, and golden. And then we're gonna dust them immediately with powdered sugars. I mean, look at these things. These are a thing of beauty. Tasty, delicious, you cannot go wrong with fried dough covered in sugar. If you like this video, and you have any other Mardi Gras favorite recipes that you love, maybe king cake, let me know in the comments. I also have a really fun recipe on southernliving.com for how to make king cake beignets if you want to take these to the next level. So you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you're watching on YouTube, click the bell so you never miss an episode of Hey Y'all. Lay say, lay bon, tan roulette. Happy Mardi Gras, y'all.